Hello boys and girls, it's Candy here again. How are you? I believe a lot of you have been staying home most of the time. We are encouraged not to go out, especially to places where there's a lot of people. I'm sure you guys miss going out to the park or to the shopping centers, but at this moment, um, it's good to stay home. But you can still go out to your front yard or your backyard, or even like me going up to my balcony just to get some fresh air, just to stretch a little bit and just to enjoy God's creation. Do you know what special day or special weekend is coming up? Yes, it's the Easter weekend coming up and that is very special and important for us Christian. But do you know today it's also a very special day? Many churches name this day Palm Sunday. Do you know why? Let's have a little quiz. What is so special about Palm Sunday? Is it because A, it's a day that people grow palm trees? Or is it B, it's a day people welcome Jesus with the palm leaves? Or is it C, it's a day where women will collect palm oil? Well, after watching this short video, you will find out. This is a story found in the Bible about an event we celebrate each year on Palm Sunday. Jesus was going to the temple in Jerusalem. He sent two helpers to get a little donkey that was tied up beside its mother in the town nearby. They found the little donkey where Jesus said, they told the man who owned the donkey that Jesus needed it to go to Jerusalem and they took the little donkey back to Jesus. Jesus. They put their coats over donkey's back for Jesus to sit on. Jesus sat on the donkey's back. He was going to the temple in Jerusalem. Lots of people came along the road. They were so happy to see Jesus. People put their coats on the road for the little donkey to walk on. Some people picked palm branches from palm trees growing by the road. They waved the branches as Jesus passed by. Everyone was happy to see Jesus. Hosanna to the King, they shouted as Jesus went up the road into the city of Jerusalem. When they got there, Jesus got off the little donkey and went into the big temple to pray to God. So there you go. Now you know the answer, right? Yes. Palm Sunday is special because it reminds us the day that Jesus enters Jerusalem and how the people use palm leaves to welcome him, to wave to him, and to lay it on the ground so that the donkey can walk on. Do you know in Jesus' time, that's actually a way to welcome special people or a king. People who were there, they knew that Jesus was the king and they want to welcome him into the town using branches, using clothes to lay on the ground. You might wonder, doesn't king usually ride on a white horse? Don't they usually wear fancy and beautiful robes? And one thing very important, doesn't king have a crown? Jesus didn't have any of that. All he had was a donkey. Despite that, people know that he is the king. He's the king that comes to save them. Yes, that's true. Jesus is the king that came to save us, to die for us. And that is for next week. We will find out what sort of crown will Jesus wear. But today, I want to use a word to encourage you. A word that helps us to remember who Jesus is. When people were waving branches, they were also shouting out a very interesting word. Do you remember that word? Hosanna, that's right. It's not English, and that is why we don't usually use that word. It's in Greek, and it means, save us, Lord. 
please save us. People knew that Jesus is the one who can save them. I want to use the word Hosanna to remind us of who Jesus is. You ready for that? Let's start with the first letter, H. H is for hope. Yes, Jesus is our hope. Nowadays, many things make us fear and worried. Many things make us hopeless. We don't know who can help us when country is fighting over each other. We don't know who can find a cure for the disease that's going around. We know that we have hope in Jesus because we know that if he can overcome death, if he died and came back to life, what else couldn't he overcome? We have hope in Jesus. Oh, Jesus is the one and only son of God. And he is the one and only one who can lead us to God. It is through him that we know about God. It is through him that we can go back to God. As is for salvation, we often do things that upset our parents, that upset God. Jesus is the one that brings salvation. He is the one to help us to stop doing things that's not pleasing to God. He is the one that will bring us back to God. Almighty, Jesus is almighty. That's right. Not only that, he has the power to perform miracles, to heal people, to feed people. He actually has the power to overcome death. He is almighty. There's two end in Hosanna. The first end, I want to use it as never change. Yes, Jesus never change. Things are changing every day. You are changing. I am changing. But there's one thing that never changes, and that is Jesus. And the other end never leaves us. Jesus will never leave us, no matter what we face, no matter where we are. He is always there for us. And finally, the last A alive. Yes, Jesus is alive. And that is the reason why we celebrate Easter. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to our Lord. Jesus is our hope. He's the one and only one from God. He brings salvation. He is almighty. Jesus never changed. He will never leave us. And most importantly, I think, he is alive. Well, I'm going to ask you to join me to pray and give thanks to our God. Shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus who came to this earth, who walked on this earth, and who died for us. Father, we thank you that Jesus is our hope. We thank you that he is the one and only one from you and for us to go to you. We also thank you that Jesus brings salvation to us so that we won't be condemned, we won't be punished for our sin we thank you that jesus is almighty having the power to overcome death we also want to thank you that jesus never changed nor he would never leave us last but not least we want to thank you that jesus is alive and one day we will be with him again Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, your son's precious name, we pray. Amen. Well, having seen that video, I'm in the mood to sing. I'm going to ask you to join me to sing the song Hosanna. And I hope that for the rest of today, you'll continue thinking about Jesus and how good he is. See you next week.